watcher, there are two things that are really important when you're driving around London. Firstly, that you look good, which isn't a problem for me because I've got this lovely Audi S3, perfect for nipping in and out the traffic. Secondly, your tunes. But what if your tunes don't quite cut it? I'll tell you what you do, you follow me. I'm in Prestige Audio in Harrow, one of the leading car audio specialists in the country. And this is my mate Dell, who's going to give us a bit of information about the business. Right, well, Prestige Audio was set up over 12 years ago uh, by two guys who pretty much did it as a hobby at the time prior to that. Um, they won all sorts of awards throughout the years, uh, winning, winning European finals, etc., going abroad, taking their vehicles with crazy installs that pretty much did it as a hobby. Now, 12 years later, um, they set up a business which is pretty much a pinnacle of the industry and um, someone can come in and buy just a set of speakers to fit or they can go on to spend loads and loads of money like we did for example building our van. Um, for example the van's got 20 amplifiers, 22 kilowatts of power, 30, 32 subwoofers, it weighs two tonnes, it's an escort van oh by God. the way, six and a half grand paint job, painted by the Batman car, really? the paint the Batman car, yeah. Uh, and it's a mad vehicle, yeah. but uh, and it does what it's meant to do, which is very, sound very good. loud. It's, it sounds good and cool. <laughs> so um, let's start at the basics. I've got a couple of hundred pounds to spend, and I'd like to upgrade my speakers. What can you suggest? Well, it starts at it starts at something like a set of speakers like this. These are for, for example, about 150 quid. Uh, a separate mid-bass driver and a tweeter, but as far as the price goes, it goes up accordingly. We've got another set of speakers here, 300 quid. 350 to an award winning set of speakers at 500 quid. Um, all look pretty similar, yes, but made of different materials. Some are more sensitive than others, and some do sound a lot better than the others, otherwise, they never sell them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, so you might have a point there. So, are they quite difficult to fit? No, 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 easy, easy. We'll come through and I'll show you how, you, how we get on with it. So, we've come through this car and um, you've replaced the sound system that was already in there, but I can't see where you've put it. Right, this is because these speakers were, were put in the standard allocations, which means the old ones were taken out, the new ones were put in behind the existing panel. So they look... So you've made no extra holes anywhere? No, no, and no. And everything's kind of hidden away? You can't... Well, we have made holes, but in the front you can't, so we haven't made any extra holes at all. But it looks standard. Right. Completely. And how long did it take you to replace these speakers and make it... The, front, the front speakers you can change in about half an hour. Really? Not, yeah, it's not, not, a, not a big task at all. It's when you get into the bit more intricate things that it takes longer and longer. Right. And uh, would you have to come to a specialist like yourself to replace the speakers in front? Ideally, it's because it's, even though it's behind, it's in a factory allocation, uh, a lot of it is down to the way it's installed. Right, yeah. You can get a 500 pound set of speakers and if they're not installed correctly, they'll sound useless. <laughs> not so, so good. No. And how much money has this person spent on this person has spent four and a half thousand. Four and a half grand. But it sounds good. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Dale, what other modifications have you done to this car? Well, apart from the front end, uh, which we've already talked about, yeah. uh, behind this armrest here, we put in two subwoofers behind this panel. Obviously, it looks standard, first of all, but revealing the panel, there were two subwoofers built in the boot. So does that take away from the space that you've got available in the boot for your gym kit? And... No, it's a minimal space lost in the boot. That's the skill of it. If you can get a really good base system in the boot and lose minimal space, right. that's what everyone wants to achieve. Okay. And because it's right by the back seat, is it going to make your back go... <laughs> yeah, it can do. Yeah. This, this guy doesn't particularly want it to do that, okay. but he's got so much power in the car, he can do it easily. Fantastic. It looks amazing. So, Joe, it's just occurred to me that if I've just spent four and a half grand on a new sound system, yep. would it add any value to the car itself? Um, well, it's quite a personal thing, and what you would normally find is it wouldn't add a great deal of value to the car. Right. But the idea is that if you buy a really good kit, you can take it out of the car when you finish with the car, sell the vehicle, and reinstall it in your next car. Oh, okay. So it's an investment. Right, okay. okay. Um, for example, a look at this here. This guy spent quite a bit of money on his kit, when well, he spent four and a half thousand in all. You got two amplifiers there as well. You see? That's, I'm really surprised it's so hidden actually. 
Well, the, this guy wanted it hidden from a security point of view. Someone comes to open your boot, doesn't look as though anything's yeah, there. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, so it is an investment because you can buy a car, put it, put all this sound system in, and then when you sell it, take it out, put it in another car. Absolutely. And upgrade it as you're going along, presumably. Absolutely right. So we've been in the M5 and I've listened to the sounds and it does sound better, but to be honest, mate, I haven't understood a word you've said. Okay. Well, come with me and I'll tell you a bit more about it. Okay. Right. This is the head unit. This is your dashboard. Okay. Right. That basically put your CD in, your radio, etc. Okay. Now from there, that comes down to an equaliser. Okay, which finally changes the system, but I'll come to that in a minute. Amplifier. Okay. This amplifier runs your front speakers. This amplifier runs your subwoofers in your boot. Okay. okay. Basically, so it goes. This amplifier runs the high frequencies. This amplifier runs the low frequencies. And what's the difference between high frequency and low frequency? High frequency is your voice. Um, Not my voice. Of course, mm. absolutely. Your voice. Uh, and, the, and the very, very high end goes out of the tweeters. Okay. okay? Yeah. Uh, the subwoofers, the bass, the, the chest shaking, jeans shaking, yeah? yeah. Um, they sit in your boot. Okay. okay. And the equaliser finely tunes the whole system to make it, in theory, sound perfect. So if I had a little bit of money and I wanted those speakers, I'd have to have that as well, or can I just? If you're going to spend money on a decent set of speakers, front or back, you really need this amplifier to run them as well, otherwise it's pointless. One really okay. goes with the other. And these little boxes here, what are they? These split the mids from the highs. Oh, okay. okay. Simple? I understand that, yeah. Okay. So if you've got all this knowledge, you must have a pretty impressive car yourself. Mm, I've saved the best till last. <laughs> so, Dale, you said that you're going to save the best till last. What is so special about this car, then? <laughs> right, well... We start off with, this, with the front, we've got a roll-out screen on the front which is multi-user, it can play DVDs, it plays um, normal CDs, PlayStation, all sorts of things. We've got a DVD changer in the glove box. Uh, we've done custom pods in the front kick wells. What's a custom pod? Well, you know, like the, pre like the M5 has a factory allocated speaker. Right, yeah? yeah. We built pods that look standard, but they're on angles either side. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. So it, it helps the sound come into the car better. Um, and then we've also got uh, an equaliser and crossover electronic in the front dash here. Right. And in the boot, we've got two very large amplifiers and two very large subwoofers. We'll have a look at those in a minute, but I'm intrigued to see that you can play films on this. Films in the front and films in the headless. And I've just heard the sound of the, <laughs> the noise that it makes. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and you can play uh, PlayStation and everything as well. Everything. But presumably it's illegal to drive while you're watching a film. Absolutely. And playing the place. Passengers can watch in the back, but that you have to drive and listen to them. So you've got um, screens in the headrest at the back, mm -hmm. is it? And is it touch screen as well, so your passengers at the back can choose what they want? They can choose what they want to watch, yeah. Can we have a look in the boot? Okay. Ah, now I recognise these. These are what you had in the shop. Absolutely. Similar. Yeah, no, these are the ones we had in the shop. Um, they're only small, but they give a hell of a lot of output, but quality output. And these amps, Very I good. know the technical term, <laughs> see, two professional on sound system. And natural. <laughs> uh, yeah, two high quality amplifiers, uh, the high quality speaker system, so very loud. And you can still put things on top. Of yeah, yeah well, but we're not using this, we have a panel that goes over the top to make it normally used as a boot. So can you give us an idea of what it sounds like in relation to, I don't know, jumbo jet? <laughs> right, if you, just it to, if you just compare it with a jumbo jet, then it would be... If you was on a runway standing next to a jumbo jet before takeoff, you'd be pretty much up with it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty mad. I think my brother would love this car. So, um, is it a bit of a fade magnet then? You better ask my missus that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> so, whether you've got two hundred pounds or twenty thousand pounds, you can still make a massive improvement to the sound system you've already got in your car. So if it's important to you to look good and have kicking tunes, get yourself kitted out. Dell, next Thursday, all right, from a car. Sweet, mate. <laughs>